What what are they worried about with nitrogen? It sounds laughable to me. It is laughable, and that is what you should take away from this. It's not a real crisis. Obviously, nitrogen isn't a problem, especially not when you consider the fact that, well, the Netherlands, like I said, is such a small piece of land. Yeah. We have our neighboring countries, Belgium and Germany, that don't have to implement any of these measures, but the Dutch government is doing it. And the real reason, obviously, behind it is that the Dutch state wants the farmers' land. Because probably there are a couple of reasons. So the farmers, first of all, they're a group in society that are very self-reliant. They are basically ungovernable in that sense. You know, they own a lot of the Dutch land and they, well, they produce agricultural products. They have livestock. They produce beef. And what's interesting to know is that the Dutch minister who has pushed this nitrogen law has a brother-in-law who is the owner of the Dutch online supermarket called Picnic. Guess who invested $600 million in Picnic last year? Right, Bill Gates, the man who wants you to oh. eat fake meat. And, you know, that's not just uh, a conspiracy theory. I know, for example, that uh, the head of uh, the Netherlands, he's a, he's a serious member of the World Economic Forum, too. Who's, what's his name? Mark Rutte. Yes, Rutte. Mark Rutte is very, very deeply involved in the World Economic Forum. And, well, it's obvious that this law is a product, again, of these globalist institutions. Yeah. Because this needs to happen before 2030. Rings a bell, right? Agenda 2030, the yeah. Great Reset, World Economic Forum. It's very clear that this is a made-up crisis, which we've seen before with these organizations. That's the way they handle, that's the way they operate these things. They say, we have a crisis. And you are the ones that are going to have to solve this by giving up all of your rights. Yeah. So that's happening here. They're taking away these farmers' land. They're taking away property because they see a future for us in which we're, we're completely dependent on the state. You eat bugs. <laughs> and, well, they own your land. You, you, know, they, you own nothing and you'll be happy is what they say to you. But these farmers are not happy. And I'm so proud that they're finding this.